Hi, we're here at the Bahrain, 46 Bahrain Annual Art Exhibition, and as you can see, this is a painting by Farid Saud Bukayes, and I, I like it. Uh, it feels very contemporary, the colors are, you know, really bright. And the thing about Bahrain is it's, it's very small, but like you get to see a lot of people who are so into art, and uh, the government is actually like supporting all of this. Um, we went several times to the annual art exhibition, and I've been overwhelmed all the time. Uh, just look here. This is by Ebrahim al -Ghani. And the detail and the intricacy of the painting, you can definitely like feel it so lifelike. This, I think it's some sort of driftwood or you know something happening on the beach. But the amount of detail that he puts on this canvas, like I, I feel this is one of the this is one of my favorites like series in this whole exhibition. And may I direct you to Dana Juman? I feel this is another beautiful piece of work. Um, it's all about women distorted vision and I like it because it's large canvas and you get to see like a you know sort of Pablo Picasso-esque style coming out but it's her own you know it's very it's very Arabic it's very cultural I, I love it contemporary art is so my thing and over here and we can see a work by Omar Al Rashid it's a series it's a triptych and it's very picaresque, but at the same time, it's, it's very relatable. I think, I think this is something to do with the way people approach relationships and with the way they you know, speak to each other or like the space between two people. Um, I wrote a poem about that once. So the way it's very textured and the colors are so rich, this reminds me of a crimp painting. It's so modern. It's it's very it's very very modern. So this is one, and I, I I like this. This is Mario Malifatu. It's it's abstract. I I think it's settlements. I think it's all about the city industrialization. But who knows? You know, modern art. It's not very easily definable. But. The nice thing about paintings is that you want to like immerse yourself into them. Um, it's very romantic. It's very, it's very intense. You know, this is what art is all about. Like, and I'm sure this is fetching a very, very big price tag. I mean, they have to live, of course. On this side, uh, Nader Alabasi. It's taking some abstract compositions. And I, 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 lo I love these things because this is exactly what, you know, Paper Monster Press is about. Um, it's a collage, but at the same time, it's, it's, very, it's very modern. Like, I think this is a hand, it's gesturing somebody. And then here, we, we see people, different people, talking, it's a conversation. And sometimes people ask, like, why they should pay for art like this? Um, a while ago, I was just listening to a Brian Tracy film, and he said that the greatest money-making thing that you have is the one between your ears, so it's your brain. So a lot of brain work went into this, into this a lot of deep thought. And this is, you know, this is what you pay the artist for, because they actually translate what they feel into, you know, into the, into the canvas, into daily life. And I think that's really cool. Um, let's look over here. We have several little pots or little birds by Aisha Hafuz. And it's very minimalist. You like it if you're into this kind of decor. Personally, I like more colorful stuff, but you know, um, it's very clean, it's very calming, and I kind, I kind of like that. And over here, This is so gratifying, it's so cool, it's so clean, the colors are very calm. And 
personally, I don't really um, see myself buying or collecting anything like this. But if you're if you're the type who likes clean and and calm colors, this will definitely work for you. But I, I definitely see an architect using this for some big project, like a hotel or something like that. And let's move on to something a little bit darker. This is Hasham. Oh. I have nothing to say, it's so dark. But at the same time, you know, um, I guess it's for the people who... Um, the sort of people who like richly textured stuff. Not my thing, but you know, if this is your thing, then Hisham Sharif is definitely somebody to watch. And one of my personal favorites is this set of toys. Um, I, I love sculpture a lot because it's 3D. Uh, these are by Mohammed Al Madi, by the way. Um, so sculptures being 3D, like you can you can touch them. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the sculpture. Uh, it's not meant to sit on a wall or like in a blank canvas. But the thing about sculpture, most of all, is that you know they. They take up space. So it's like music that takes time and it takes space. Sculpture also takes up space. So as you can see, this is something um, like kinetic energy, you know, it's, it's ready, like it's almost going to move. And if you look at the expression and their faces, I, it's, it's very detailed. Um, you, you definitely see like the amount of work that goes into this stuff. It is so cool. And um, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it's not something that's going to be hanging in every person's living room, but Mohammed Al Madi, it's really cool, I think. And then let's move Asma. So Asma made uh, a series of collages, which I like. There are pop culture references, adventure comics and stuff. Uh, there are palm trees, of course, and calligraphy, Arabic writing. And then, you see here again, calligraphic writing and several girls who look like they're Muslims and they are wearing a pilot's uniform. So from there, you can definitely see the discourse that's happening. This is all about her culture, her identity, and the way that she did it, you know layering photos and textures against each other. Um, it, it's very it's very cool, uh, it's very modern, uh, a trendy thing, and she's also trying to, I think, make a, you know, she's also trying to make a statement, which is really, really nice. And this will also make a great piece in, you know, any living room, I think, very, very cool. Ismail's um, guilt tricky because I feel like it's kind of stained glass, it's very, you know, Russian stained glass kind of thing. Um, well, who is it? I think it was Vasily Kandinsky who did this first. Um, it's darker, it's a whole lot darker, there's a lot of things going on, but like the style and the technique, it's quite, you know, it's quite, it's quite cool. And it reminds me of like Harlequin, like the face is here, as you can see, and then the richly textured like red strokes all over. Um, it, it's, it feels very, you know, intense and, and modern. And I, I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, so this is Ali Mubarak's work. I'm just gonna quickly go through that. Mariam, I think, is doing something with a headset. I'm not really sure what that is. And we have here something very interesting. This is by Samar Aliskafi. And there's several things happening. Obviously there's clock that was tie-dyed, and then there's a mirror. And there is a heart sculpture. And I think you should be listening to something, so let me just see what this is all about. There's nothing there, so I don't know what this is all about. But based on, based on what is here, 
I would suggest that this is all about like heartbeats or certain feelings that you get whenever you're in a certain time of your you know life or you know something. Oh, that's about all I can say, but I find this piece very interesting. It's very interesting indeed. Summer Alice Cuffey. Ooh. I wanted to say something about Gada Kunji's work because of course she's a very strong woman artist. And she's always making like Frida Kahlo esque type of you know, stuff. Of course this is her. In conversation with her. And referencing very heavily on um, stuff that other female artists have been doing um, in the past uh, I still I still I still like what she does it's very um, it's very strong it's very you know it's very contemporary and I can see this piece anywhere you know in a hotel in a living room and plus she has the really cute dog tattoos which I, I kind of like it's very nice I wanted to go and see Jafar al Arabi's work because he doesn't disappoint. This is, I mean, we just went to an exhibit about sharks. And look, he has sharks. Um, a man, you know, against the environment kind of thing. This is very, you know, it's very ephemeral and yet at the same time it's timeless. I say ephemeral because the way he it feels like it feels very tentative but at the same time the, the strokes um, are very you know dark and heavy and it actually it makes you feel you know it makes you feel as if the man is trapped in this environment so you have that shark over there what is it is it danger what does it mean so of course, it's a triptych, and I think it's meant to suggest different parts or different times. So the colored, the colored square is here on the first part, then it moves here, and then it moves here. So what does it mean, or am I just like overseeing the moves? Um, overall, I, I, I feel this is a very nice um, triptych. It's it's a very architectural. Um, it's a very grand design, and you know, Jafar, this is really, this is awesome. Really, really love this work. It's terrific. It's all about exploration, I think. It's all about, you know, man as a master of the elements or master of nature. It, it says so much. It's very rich in detail and meaning, so, yeah, I mean, probably with a conversation with Jafar, I'll get to know more about it, but without even talking to him, it, it feels like there's so much here. So this is Jafar arriving. Oh, let's go to Maria Melson, this work. Um, very nice. It's three females, each with like an expression, you know? Um, I like that their eyes are lopsided a little bit. And look at their smiles, also just a little bit, you know, lopsided. It's very quirky. It's the same female or females of the same family, different backgrounds. It's it's very architectural, well done. I think the female's wearing like a, a red blazer, then a green blazer. Um, it works as a set, as a series, but it could also work on its own, I guess. So this is Mario Mason. Very nice work, very inspired. And then, you know, for something a bit, and this is my favorite of all, I, I really like clean and contemporary lines. This is Loredano Mantello, and I feel this is photography, but it could very well be a painting. Um, when I worked in Galleria de Vinilo, we used to like sell a lot of these because just because it's, it's so good for anything, the background and your wall or whatsoever. And it's just black and white, it's monochromatic. I love it, it's so calming, but it's all about the curve, it's all about the lines, it's all about shadow and light, and you know, this is, this is what makes photography so good. It elevates it into fine art. So this is Loredana, um, kudos. This is exceptional, exceptional work. And uh, let's go quickly to 
Khalid Al Jabri. This is something interesting. Um, four. There, are, there are four um, pictures, and this one shows like a group of women on a bed, around a bed, and then this one shows the back of a man and a woman, and then this one shows covered faces, you don't know, see them, and again here. Um, I think this is a meditation on, you know, sickness, the temporality of life, and it's done very vividly because as you can see, he doesn't have a background at all. It's just plain white background, and then the people are the main actors. So what Khalid was able to do, I think, was just to take the emotion out and just transmit that. There are no faces, it's just the body movement, it's just the... There's no expression, right? So you don't really see anything, but the way that the bodies are postured, that's where you get like the feeling. So this is, I think this was very well done on Khalid's part. I really like this. Um, though I don't normally go for this stuff, I think it's really heavy, but like it's very well done. I want to go quickly to something I found exceptional. And you know I like perfect stuff. This is Ali Hussein Mirza. <laughs> what can I say? I know. He did it on like um, irregularly cut paper in different colors. And there's like a man doing different things, but mostly a man and his body. So I think he used. Cray pass or crayons, uh, different kinds of textures. So some cutting, some cutting here and there. But mostly, like, I really like this because it's all about the expression and the face and the body. So same like that other guy. But what he was doing is this is a series. You have a guy that's going from this to that to this, and it's almost like a dance. But there's a whole lot of emotions. There's a whole range of, you know, feeling behind the behind the gestures, behind the colors that he used. And I feel this is very, you know, there's a lot of thought that went into this work, into this series of work. I think it works as one whole series. Or even if you're an architect, you can take like four and hang that in a living room. You know, take another four from this year, so it could work like that. And I, I find this, um, there's something very chinoisery, they, I think they call it chinoisery. There's something very oriental about this, and yet it's also, it's also Arabic, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's a mix. Um, I definitely love the colors, and I feel this is, it's quite spunky. So I, I, I really love this work by Ali Hussein Mirza. It's, it's quite spunky, it's very contemporary, it's very original. So this is his work. And now I'll go to Eskandar. The one... I would assume... I would assume... Um, I would assume Eskandar is probably Indian. I would assume that. But this is a series of portraits, and... Definitely, like, this portraiture, um, it's very accomplished. Like you can see so much feeling in the eyes and the level of detail if you look at that like you know the spots here which are meant to be shadows and also here you know reflected in like the whole face and the little touches of rogue on the lips I guess it's I think it's very cool and it's very moody so it reminds me of Modigliano this guy who did like long neck people but his is definitely it's completely different and as you can see here the girl no like her eyes are closed but the level of feeling was transmitted through the colors and the expression the shape of the face like the slant and everything so this is I think this is a very cool work by Askandar and 
something about it just makes me feel that it's like it's India a little bit, you know? And again, we're going to sculptures because I love sculptures. So this is um, by Gada Abbas al -Kohaze. And I feel there's something Japanese about it. Um, and when I worked in Galleria de Vimila, we had a Japanese artist. She was called Shoko Mafune. And she used to do like very elegant, very delicate ceramic work. And I think this also is in that level. Um, I love how you can take one of these and it's going to be like the primary, you know, the, the primary focal point of any place. Um, of course, there are birds, so this are women, so I guess it has something to do with like, you know, women wanting to do things or, you know, wanting you know, the space to fly or something like that. But at the same time, you can see like the calmness of their faces. So, you know, this is Japanese inspired. Um, you'll see that. And I, I find that the use of the, the materials also, the colors and the textures, it's very modern. And I, I like that. So kudos. Gada, this is 